Hey guys, these five tennis rackets are for almost everybody out there. Yes, everybody. Because these rackets I can recommend for almost every level, like high beginner to even advanced players with different playing styles. These rackets are my picks and I'm sure there are many more out there who fit in that category as well. Let's go into it. We have to start with the people's racket, the radical MP. All of those rackets have one thing in common. They are very good at almost every aspect of the game, but not outstanding in one. I mean by the radical has good spin, good control while maintaining decently powerful. It is relatively stable for its 295 grams and you get a nice response of the racket. But is it outstanding in one field? No, it's not the best in control or the most powerful, which makes all of those rackets very easy to recommend to a wide variety of players. The difference to maybe the other rackets is that the radical is maybe the most unstable of all of them. But with a bit of customization I can imagine being a very good racket also for advanced players as well. Next on our list is the Yonex ESO 98. This is maybe the most popular frame of the Yonex lineup. And rightly so. It is easy to play with. It ticks every box in the game. It gives a good amount of control without sacrificing on spin and power. The feel on impact is great. And is in the middle. Not too stiff and but also not too muted. It is maybe the most unstable on the surf, which is unfortunately a little pain, but also I think with some customization it can be a top racket for a lot of advanced players. Each racket fit a lot of different playstyles. So you can play with counter punching, be aggressive, play surf and volley, play with spin, play flat, everything is possible with those 5 rackets. Continue with our next head racket, there will be another one later in the list as well, so stay tuned for that. I like the Extreme Tour very much and this is the one racket with just the most spin potential of all of them, but I had the most problems with it on the surf. It was simply not stable enough for me personally. But I have played a tournament a couple of months back who played with a customized Extreme Tour and he served freaking bombs with this racket. A very good and promising young player he was. The Extreme Toy is almost the perfect combination in my opinion of its spin, power and control in this category and with some customization this racket could be a great choice for every advanced player as well and also intermediate player who enjoys having a lot of control and spin and power in one package. Guys, this is the first bubble art I have tried that gave me the feeling Yes, Babolat, you can make stable rackets. To this day, I did not play with the Pure Aero 98, which is unfortunate, but hopefully very soon. But back to the Pure Drive. This racket is freaking great. When we leave the stiffness on the side, this racket feels and plays incredible. It ticks all the boxes and the balance is just right to even have a good serving performance with it. It is a little more on the head heavy side and that makes up for the low weight. On grounds I found it to be lacking on the spin a little but overall I pretty much enjoyed every shot with the Pure Drive 98. But because of the high stiffness I would not recommend it to string it with a stiff poly like a bubble art RPM plus but use a more softer multi-filament string. Guys, let me know in the comments which racket you would include in that list. Lastly, we have to talk about another head racket and it is the Gravity MP. I really enjoyed this frame and I can imagine that it would fit a lot of players. Also in my mind, with some customization I could see even advanced players play with this when the Gravity Pro is a little too low powered or too less spinny for them. The Gravity MP has overall great power spin potential but combined with the forgiveness and the unfriendliness it is one of the best rackets for every type of player out there beginning from higher beginners to advanced players as well with customization it would be one of the best rackets had ever made in this category and guys definitely watch this video next